Well, hello everyone. This is Richard Kadish, owner and broker in charge of Go Gated Realty, Hilton Head Island and Bluffton, South Carolina. And today is October 15th, 2023. We're in Sun City, Hilton Head. And specifically, we're in the East Argent section of Sun City, Hilton Head, the 55 and over community by Del Webb. This is the neighborhood where the new homes are being built and you're looking at one that was just completed by one of my clients it's one of the scenic series homes it's actually the smallest home that Del Webb builds it has just 1345 square feet it's called the contour model we're gonna walk through it talk about it Talk about some comparisons between the scenic homes that are freestanding homes like you see here and the new product by Del Webb called the Duets, which are attached homes, not condominiums, but attached homes, and talk about some comparisons. So before we go in, let's just talk about some of the construction features that are in both these homes and the Duets. These homes are all on slab, which means no steps. They're on a concrete platform. They have optional flood insurance being in floodplain X. Beautiful hardy plank siding in a variety of colors. Hardy plank siding being the concrete fiberboard that doesn't rot, the bugs don't eat it, looks great, it's very strong. This is a natural gas community and Included and standard and included in all these products are the tankless natural gas Renai water heaters. They have the 15 sear Lennox air conditioners with gas heat. These homes are well insulated with 38 R38 blown insulation in the ceilings. They have roof decks with a what is sometimes called a tech shield or a radiant board where, that reflects the um, sun's ultraviolet rays, keeps your attic cooler. We're mainly concerned about heat down here in the south, spring through fall and the high summer. We have vinyl windows. We have fiberglass architectural shingles on the roof. All of these yards come irrigated with built-in irrigation systems. So let's go in and take a look at this contour model, the smallest of the scenic homes, the scenic home series built by Del Webb, the smallest new home that Del Webb builds here in Sun City Hilton Head. Our entrance foyer makes an angle and our line of sight is down the foyer hallway to the kitchen, cafe, and gathering room. Immediately here on the right is our den, and or sometimes called a flex room. It has optional doors. It measures nine feet by nine feet four inches. First big difference between these freestanding scenic homes and the duets. The duets, ladies and gentlemen, all two bedrooms, two bathrooms with no den or flex room. Each of these scenic homes, freestanding scenic homes, have the den and they all have the option for lofts where you can take the two bedroom plan here with the den and turn it into three bedrooms, three bathrooms, so you have a lot more versatility with these freestanding homes. Well, here is our kitchen, and it's informal and contemporary, open to what is called the cafe. In other words, it's an open dining room. Each of these spaces open to one another. The uh, cafe here measures 13 feet, three inches by eight feet, five inches. And into the gathering room then we go. The gathering room measuring 14 feet by 13 feet with our primary bedroom off to the left through a privacy jog. 
this owner chose to have this optional sliding glass door, standard are two windows and a swinging door, out to a standard and included covered patio. He screened it, that's an option, added an optional extended patio there. We'll go out and take a closer look in a minute. But please notice that our ceilings are nine feet high. They're all flat. When you see light bulbs like this that do not have the light fixtures with them, that means that this buyer has chosen to get his own light fixtures and install them in the aftermarket. But also notice that the flooring, which is standard, mainly carpet and so forth with tile in the bathrooms and kitchen and so forth. He's done what's very popular these days and run a laminate floor right through the entire house. Very, very popular option, ladies and gentlemen. And he's made other upgrades here with this uh, kitchen, which standard and included would be a granite top. He's come in with a quartz top. And when I say he, by the way, this is a uh, bachelor gentleman, a single gentleman from Saddle River, New Jersey. And this is a gas community, as I said, but standard and included is an electric range with a flat ceramic range top. Many of the owners here, if you want gas, well, you, you get a gas stub and get a gas range. Their appliance of choice is the Whirlpool Stainless. He's gone with painted cabinets with crown molding and crown molding, by the way, throughout the house in these different rooms. Another beautiful option. It all blends together beautifully. It's very soft. He's gone with light coastal colors, beautiful backsplash. And he's even added a second color on his island cabinets, which is sometimes called a deep navy blue or an admiral blue. And now what Del Webb is doing is they're moving their microwaves all out from under the, out from over rather the range tops over to the side. And we see that here as well. Just the privacy jog off of this gathering room is our primary bedroom, sometimes called the owner suite. It measures 14 feet by 13 feet with a pair of big windows bringing in lots of light. The owner has chosen for the optional recessed ceiling, sometimes called a tray ceiling. Once again, he'll be coming in with his fixture, light fixture in the middle of the room there. The primary bedroom, of course, has the private bathroom. And here he's chosen for the optional framed mirrors. He's gone with a quartz top in the bathroom. I believe the dual vanity is standard. The tiled floor is standard, although I think he may have upgraded his tile here as he has with his shower. The tiled shower is standard and included. But he's gone with the stylish, frameless enclosure, very popular. The water closet on the right, the linen closet on the left, and here is our closed closet at the back. Once again, the vinyl floor picks up and comes on in, gives it that warm wood look, but that is, I think I said vinyl, I meant to say laminate. It's a laminate floor, not wood, but it sure looks like wood, doesn't it? All in all, a beautiful bathroom with some luxury features. However, generally speaking, in a relatively economic or economy home. And just off of that owner's suite is the laundry room. Washers and dryers are never included in the base price of homes, ladies and gentlemen. They're always an option. This buyer has chosen to get them himself in the aftermarket. And by the way, in the kitchen, the refrigerators, similar thing, never included. You can purchase it through the builder or get it in the aftermarket. That's the pantry for the kitchen there to the right and here off of the foyer hallway is a jog over to the second bedroom. It measures 11 feet by 10 feet 
crown molding, beautiful laminate floor. Just outside the door here is our second bathroom, which also then acts as the guest bathroom. And here we see pretty much standard and included features, the fiberglass tub and shower, very standard in these products to see that as the standard and included in second and third bathrooms, tile floor is standard, the painted cabinet is an upgrade, and the granite top is an upgrade in this second bathroom. And up at the front of the house, just to the left of the foyer, we have a few features here, a coat closet to the right, our Lennox 15 sear air handler heater, natural gas heater right there in front of us in the closet with the recessed slab so if there ever is a water leak that you're not going to get water on your floor. I like that. To the left is our garage. Here is our garage in the contour. It measures 20 feet 1 inch by 20 feet 4 inches. Now several differences in your options between the Scenic series that we're in now, the contour model, and the uh, duets. Again, the duets are just two bedrooms, two bathrooms, but in the garages, the duets do not offer a pull-down stairway. They do not offer an extended garage, and this garage is extended by four feet. I don't believe that the duets offer an option of a slop sink that this owner has chosen for as well in the garage. This covered back patio is standard and included in the contour. It measures 14 feet 9 inches by 10 feet. Screening is very popular, always optional. And the view here is what is called a berm view, sometimes called a landscape view, but when you have an elevated, elongated mound, which is planted as they have so many here in Sun City. That's called a berm, ladies and gentlemen. Landscape grows up, the trees, the bushes, whatnot, it will completely shield, visually shield you from whatever's over there, be it another house, a road, or whatever. Very popular to then spend less for the lot so you can put more in your house. I personally like and recommend that my buyers add the optional outside patio. Certainly for anyone who likes to barbecue out, you don't want that in your screen porch. And they do have the optional gas stub as you see there. So you bring your barbecue out here. It allows you the option of coming outside. Let's just review some of the differences between the economic freestanding scenic homes, of which the contour that we're seeing today is one, freestanding versus attached on the duets. Well, the Duets has two models. They are attached at their garage. The Danbury with 1,390 square feet. The Ellington with 1,528 square feet. Yard care is included in both of the fees, the monthly fees, which by the way for the freestanding homes is $275 a month. Over in the Duets, it's $364.75 a month. But at the duets, you get a little bit more. You get your downspouts taken care of, uh, your gutters, the exterior paint, the roof, and you do get termite service all included <laughs> in that extra difference, which is not great, less than about $90, $90 a month, I think, but that is one of the differences. But structurally, there are other differences. Um, again, we talked about the extended garage that you can get in a freestanding scenic home. Uh, on these scenic homes you can add a loft and you can also extend the gathering room which this owner did not do but with the scenic homes you, you can extend that room for even more space on the first floor. Those are just some of the comparisons. The prices are similar but the scenic homes will cost a bit more and of course prices change without notice. They're generally going up on new homes and your total price will always be the base price of the home plus the price of the building site plus the different options that you choose. Well it seems that some of the buyers that I work with 
are concerned about prices, possibly interest rates, but prices continue to rise, ladies and gentlemen, climbing a wall of worry, I guess you could say. Um, the recession that would kill the market has been predicted for several years. It has not happened. Prices continue to go up. We can talk about that when you call. Congratulations to this gentleman, this buyer, who was early in. Always a good idea to get the best price. And I'll just tell you that this house altogether came in for under $400,000, everything. And of course, prices have moved on since then. So congratulations to this buyer for being so bold. And thank you. He's just been wonderful to work with. And I'm very happy that uh, he chose me as his buyer's agent. Well, I'm showing you all this, ladies and gentlemen, as a buyer's agent. I don't work for Dell Webb. I don't work for the community of Sun City. I work for you, the buyer. I'm a fiduciary. I have over 46 years of local Hilton Head and Bluffton real estate experience. I'm a former licensed South Carolina home builder. As your buyer's agent, we compare what is important to you. We compare communities, we compare builders, new homes to resale homes, whatever's important to you, we look at that. And by the way though, when you do build a new home with Dell Webb, when I'm your agent, you do get $1,000 off of your price on your options. And Dell Webb does not raise or lower your price when you bring me in as your buyer's agent. Well, I would certainly like to be your agent, your buyer's agent here in Sun City or anywhere else in the Hilton Head Bluffton area. And again, my name is Richard Kadish, K-A-D-E-S-C-H. I'm the owner and broker in charge of Go Gated Realty, like gated communities. And Go Gated Realty is a federally registered trademark. And this is going to be just a beautiful neighborhood. They're building a brand new 40 million, I hear, recreational amenity center here. If you'd like to see a video of that, well, please let me know. I'll send you a link. It's impressive. This is a beautiful place to live. Here's how you can find me. My cell number, 843-684-2933. My email address, rich at gogated.com. That's R-I-C-H at G-O-G-A-T-E-D.com. My website is gogated.com. I have all of these models from Dell Webb on video at gogated at YouTube. Or I can send you links. Also, it's very popular for me to send my buyers a list of the different homes that can meet your needs. It's a targeted list, so you don't have to keep chasing after the homes. They come to you automatically. There is no cost or obligation for that very popular service. So let's get acquainted and find what you're looking for. Thank you for watching. If you like the video, please subscribe.